Welcome back, everybody. I'm your host, Kelly Sparks. Hey, hey. Red Beard. So today, we have a brand new review for this year. Um, this is the brand new Balconis Texas Blue Corn Bourbon. Batch from 2020. I can't read the date, but I think it's 10-11-2020. Now, what we're going to do first is do a quick re-review of last year's batch. This was from like 1025 of 2019. Last year's batch was aged for at least 27 months. This year's batch, it is aged for at least 37 months. Now, <clears throat> previously, Balconis, that's a little dry cork, and this is the bottle that actually one of my patrons, uh, Mr. JP, bought and sent to me and he bought two of them and I ended up forwarding one bottle to him and a bunch of samples so <clears throat> thanks again JP for purchasing this bottle a while ago <clears throat> so last year's batch is bottled at 65% this year's batch is bottled at 64% so they're both pretty warm but Let's go ahead and see what last year's batch tastes like. So, on the nose, it's just very sweet smelling. Sweet and just very sharp. Maybe some like dark fruit, some spices in there. All right, let's see how it tastes. Right off the bat, it's like this big punch of like dark fruit, stone fruit, maybe apricots. Big spicy, big spicy presence. Hot, very hot. And nice long finish. All in all, it was a little too hot for my specific taste, but it tastes really good. I don't like them be, to be that hot because I like to drink full flavored whiskey and it's hard to drink something that hot because you're just freaking blowing your throat out. It's pretty rough. So, all right. Let's see how one more year, I'm gonna do a quick rinse of the glass. This is, a, this is what old Jim Murray does. Or uh, what's his name? Uh, not Jim Murray. Oh, fuck you. What's his name? The Scotch guy. Got to clean the glass out and throw it on the floor. What's his name? Peterson? No. I can't remember. Anyway, he's uh, the blender for Dalmore. So, I think it's a little bit darker than, la or than last year's, but let's see how that extra year helped or hindered this whiskey. So, right off the bat, I'm noticing more boogers. I'm noticing more oak coming through on the on the nose. It doesn't feel it doesn't like this one smelled very alcoholic, alcoholy on the nose. This one not so much. All right, let's see how it tastes. Pretty much the same presence. Somewhat it's not the same whiskey throughout, but you can tell the oak has has had its way with the grain. You get more oak flavors coming through, and I think they use once they're bourbon. Hold on, it has to be matured in new charred oak barrels, so. Oh, well, I don't have, there's no information on it, but I think they use, they used to use smaller barrels, so you get a different, different contact area as far as uh, whiskey to, to wood ratio goes, so it might speed up the maturation a little bit, uh, but you can definitely tell the wood has had its way with the grain, and not near as hot, still warm on the palate, still spicy but it's kind of like taking those sharp edges from the 2019 batch and just kind of rounded them out and made it really 
smooth and a little more approachable. Flavor-wise, it's still really nice. I know some people are not a big fan of Balcones, but I mean, I'm not, I'm, I'm not a complete fan of everything from Balcones, but this one, I like. Anyway, what does the distiller have to say about it? Let's see, uh, description. Balcones Texas Blue Corn Bourbon. It's distilled from a mash of, yep, you guessed it, blue corn. Who writes this crap? It's part of the distillery's special release bottlings. Made available in limited quali quantities and released only once a year after aging a new charred American oak. It gets bottled at 64.5, but anywhere between there. So, uh, let's see what their tasting notes say. Uh, as befits a dis Texas distillery, Balconis makes a big bourbon. It's true. Bottled at high ABV and picking up a ton of color from new charred oak. Their blue corn bourbon comes on strong with notes of smoke, creme brulee, chai, and vanilla. Its flavors are intense but reveal subtlety over time. Hmm. I get the vanilla. Hey, fun fact. <laughs> Somebody posted, I guess this was like a big tit TikTok thing. Uh, I don't have TikTok. I don't really care about that shit. But somebody posted uh, where uh, the vanilla vanilla extract comes from. It comes from like the castorium gland of a bee out of a beaver's ass. <sighs> Fun stuff. But anyway, I think it's definitely moving in the right direction. The Balcones has been around for a little over a decade now. So, uh, 10th anniversary. Oh, okay. So this is the. This is the 10th anniversary Texas Blue Corn Bourbon because it's got a little X down here on it, 10th anniversary, whereas this one is not. So they have been, this is, I guess this is the 10th anniversary, 10 years in, in production. So cool. I like, I like seeing products change over time. I think a lot of Texas distilleries here in the next 10 years are going to be giving Kentucky a run for their money as far as bourbon goes. So. I think Texas is going to be the big, big thing here in about five to ten years. But with brands like Balcones, Iron Root, Tabacaro, uh, Steel Austin, a bunch of others. There's probably I think 20 different distilleries now, several different distilleries on the Texas Whiskey Tour, but Texas Whiskey Trail. Anyway, that's all I got. It's good stuff, and it's getting better. So, thanks for watching. Check the description below for all the links to help out with the bills around the house check uh oh yeah like the video subscribe gotta keep saying that for whatever reason check out the bearded idiots like always drink some whiskey share it with your friends and family be safe don't drink a drive take care and we'll see you next time cheers